Let's take a look at the MX36 console switcher. It makes switching between consoles and different sources in venues, festivals and touring as easy as A, B, C and essentially software free. In addition to switching between these three sources, it mixes three sources, allowing both head low and act to play with support act. Or if doing source switching at dance events, allows switching and mixing between different DJ setups. The MX36 is the answer to four bus switching. Let's take a look at the output of the console switcher. So the four output buses, e.g. left, right, sub fill, or DJ left and right, booth left and right, are split across three formats, analog, AES, and Dante. You don't have to configure this, it does this straight out of the box. This could be used as a useful split across three formats. Alternatively, it could be a redundant drive to a front of house processor or stage. These outputs are driven by the three main switches, A, B, C. This is where you switch or mix between your different sources. Let's take a closer look at what A, B and C could be. It could be AS, Dante, or analog. This means as well as being able to switch by the ABC buttons, you can switch by the input source select buttons here. This means you can actually switch between nine different four bus consoles. ABC console selects here, and as A can be analog AS or Dante, you can source select here. Three by three gives you nine consoles across three formats. Further, if you decide you need a backup signal path to the main AX console, you can quickly and easily configure backup connections in the input backup source select section. Let's configure an AES primary connection. Now let's configure an analog failover connection. The select light will flash if any of the four digital signals are not present. This could be no Dante patch, AES disconnected or Dante RJ45 disconnected. All four digital connections need to be present for a valid primary. Recapping, three consoles across three formats. In addition to this, we have a microphone input for announcements. This can be routed to any of the four buses and there are a number of popular routing options. It has a dedicated gain control, 48 volt phantom power, a filter button, which is a high pass filter, HF lift and a compressor to ensure any emergency announcements are delivered with appropriate clarity. Parallel XLRs are provided front and rear. There is also a stereo line input on the rear panel and a three and a half mil jack parallel wired on the front for if you really need to plug your phone in for continuity music. The line input has flexible routing. You can route it to bus one and two, a dual stereo patch to three and four, or mono to three and four. There is also a filter button, which has a high pass filter to reduce the LF content for continuity music if you need it. Let's recap again. So that's nine four bus consoles across three formats, a microphone input and a stereo line input. All these inputs can be line checked and listened to before even routing to the sound system in this monitoring section. Each individual input signals appears monitored on the meters and the headphone jack. The microphone input and the stereo line input have their own dedicated listen buttons. This means line checking a console or source can be done before even routing to the system. This makes setup for the next stack software free and gives the ability to troubleshoot incorrect patching should it ever happen. Once sources or consoles are selected, front panel routing changes can be locked to prevent accidental change by pressing and holding the lock button. Other great features include dual redundant power supplies or digital inputs have sample rate converters resolving clocking and digital connectivity issues. The AES outs can be synced to an external word clock if needed. There is also a GPI which can be used for alarm system connectivity, essential in venues. This can provide a number of different emergency modes, e.g. muting, priority input, emergency mic. While essentially software free, MX Utility provides AES clocking and routing options as well as GPIO config.
The MX Control app allows bi-directional control and monitoring. Please check out our other console switcher videos for more detailed information. Thanks for watching.